I mean, this just, this thing is just absolutely incredible. Can't spill you my coffee. Good morning, welcome to Coffee Walk. It's gonna be a casual day. I got my casual shoes on. The shop's already going. Came in a little bit late, so you may see a little bit more action than normal. I don't know if everybody's gonna run and hide or not, but we're gonna get some background noise today. I wanna walk around and show you kind of what happens on a daily basis here. There's a lot more going on than people realize. And we do a lot more than people realize. We usually focus on specific items, and today we're not. We're just gonna walk around and see what's happening. First, we're gonna back up and go through the Black Mountain Department and see what they completed this week. We've got two neat ones in, out here. We have customers sent us their Jeeps from all over the world. Morning, this customer, good morning, sent us this Jeep all the way from Miami. Uh, this is the third one he's built with us, so I wanna thank you for that. And here's what we did. This is a two-door JL. It was, it was a used unit. We did a two and a half inch Black Mountain lift with Fox shocks. We did our Black Mountain 17 inch alloys, 35 inch BFGs, Black Mountain stage one front bumper, Black Mountain 8,000 pound winch, D-rings, D-ring isolators. And then these are some lights that he specced. Black Mountain aluminum flares. These are the ones that are 12 inches wide in the front. And I just set the alarm off. So I told you there's gonna be a lot of background noise today. Black Mountain sidebars. And of course our Black Mountain rear rock bumper. He also had us put on a Borland exhaust and a tow package. Now it's totally transformed Black Mountain two-door Jeep. It looks fantastic. Again, thank you to this customer. It's the third Jeep we built for him. This should be leaving tomorrow, heading back to Miami. We just got to detail it and clean it. Next one we've got is a JK. Now this guy really loves his Jeep. And now that the new base price has come out, I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, for the SRT8 engine or the 392 or the 64 Hemi, whatever you want to call it, the base price Wrangler is over $70,000. You can spec it all the way up into the 90s. So what does that mean? Well, we thought it was really going to hurt the conversion market for JKs and JLs for the 64 Hemi. It's not. These conversions here in the $35,000 range, you're gonna pay that if you order one from Mopar. So if you've already built your rig and you like it, but you're not happy with the power, you wait for the new one to come out, well, you might wanna keep your Jeep and go ahead and let us put a 6.4 in it. Such a crazy clean install. We lift the body off of these. We'll, we'll blend in some, a little bit of video with the body off of this and the motor actually going in it. But 6.4 Hemi, approximately 490 horsepower just absolutely looks factory OE. Just a beautiful, beautiful install these market guys do, calling it Chris. They have literally done over 100 Hemi conversions. We've got these things, so they're dialed in, they run and drive great. This guy's gonna just absolutely love this Jeep now. So if your Jeep's been underpowered and you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for to be a factory V8 Jeep, well, the wait's over, they're coming out, but they are crazy expensive. If you love your JK or your JL and you want more power, just bring it in, we'll put a 6.4 in it. Next week, we've got a 6.2 Hellcat build coming, and, now, and then the following that, we have got actually, we're gonna put a Demon motor in a JL. Absolutely incredible. I love seeing the customers' faces when they come in, they've test driven their conversion, especially the six fours of the Hellcat motors, because these are just phenomenal to drive now. Of course, it's got Black Mountain cow hood on it, which I absolutely love. Well, let's go inside the shop and see what's going on in there. It's a little bit messy right now. We've been crazy busy. Good morning, coffee man. My man. How are you? Good, good, good. We've literally wore our coffee maker out with Blue Island Coffee. It runs all the time. So here is the anniversary Jeep that you guys saw last Friday. It was in the paint booth. It has come this far. Again, this is a cosmetic exterior restoration. It looks fantastic. 
This Jeep will be going back to its new owner soon. So again, the entire exterior of this Jeep was cosmetically restored and it just looks beautiful. And next we've got an 05 LJ, completely stock, 70,000 miles, beautiful condition. We just serviced it, detailed it, polished it. These are very collectible right now. And this is one of the coolest finds we've seen in a long, long time. 1970 CJ5, color code 433 Spring Green. This is incredible. This Jeep has 882 actual miles on it. Yes, 882. All five original tires. The guy bought it new, drove it home, and basically parked it. In 1985, he brought it in and it had about 850 miles on it. Had it serviced and inspected, had all the fluids changed. He brought it into the original dealer he ordered it from. Then he drove it home and never drove it again. This has one service record. We have the original title. It's just absolutely an amazing time machine. So if you are ever going to restore one and you needed one to look at to see what they were supposed to be like, this is it. We'll do a major photo shoot on this. Um, if you look at the floors, I mean, this, just, this thing is just absolutely incredible. Can't spill any of my coffee. This is so cool. This was painted on at the factory. And again, on the, oh, these ladders right here, as we hit on, on some of the 76 CJ5, these are burnished, which is a paint process where they kind of turn it, put it on there. You just never, ever, ever see a pre-76 like this. Spare tire lock, reflector lens is still here. And this hard top is a Kelly all steel hard top which was a manufacturer back in the day that you go to these hard tops in from the dealers. And this was dealer installed. And look at the seats in this. Wow. And I believe the color code for these seats is avocado. I want to show you something that's really, I guess is art deco-ish that is just crazy cool to me. You got to see the gas pedal. Vin decal is just absolutely perfect. Steering wheel is as new. And again, 882 miles. We have the gas tank out of it because uh, we send them out and we have them cleaned and we have them lined. But if you look at the floor under the gas tank, you look in here, it's just absolutely incredible. They're almost always rusty there because they hold water in between them. It would be probably not cost effective to restore one to this level. This thing is amazing. We do have it running. Uh, so this is gonna be back on the road. Again, one of the nicest pre-1976 Jeeps I have ever seen in my life. Let's go see what's in the booth. So this is a JK that came in with hail damage. A lot of people, since they've had hail damage on their Jeeps, there's a lot of small ones, but it's not cost effective to fix that. They come in and they go with a Black Mountain hood, whether it's a heat reduction or a cow hood. So let's see what this customer chose. We went two-tone on the grill. So this is what we call the Angry Grill. This is the new style Angry Grill, the updated version as you will. It's an Angry-er grill. And this is our cow hood. And then these are the vents that go in the, cover the sides, which will have a Black Mountain medallion in there. But it will totally transform and change the look of this JK. Uh, the young female driving it, which is great. I love to see that. And I think she'll be extremely happy when she comes in later today and picks up her Jeep. I heard her dad up at the front counter, super cool dad, super cool Jeep. Now, and you guys just thought I wasn't gonna show you the engine in that 1970 CJ5. Let's go check it out. Now, if you see this badge on the side, it says V6. This is actually a Dauntless 225 that was manufactured by Buick, and they run really smooth. It's a cool engine. Now this has not been cleaned or detailed yet, but I want you to look at the trim tag, how perfect it is. And this is kind of funny because they used to write the body numbers or the order numbers on the firewall, which I've seen that on all the Hurst commandos we've had in the past. If you look back here, this one started out 
as 84. No, it's not 84. I'm going to squiggle over it. It's 82. So that was done at the factory. Kind of cool. And this one also has all its emission components on it, which is crazy. Original belt still on it. Original smog pump. Original air injection rails. Diverter valves. It's all here. Just an absolute time capsule. So there you have it. That's what's going on in the shop today. Thanks for watching. Please like, tag, share, and follow, and have a great day.